Hello internet, back again, not going to start with the face shot and me chatting because, uh, well, I look worse than I sound at the moment. <laughs> do apologise for the, the hoarse voice, but uh, flu's a killer. Anyway, um, just having a little tinker on the Tigra again, let me bring you down. So history has told me that uh, on the Tigras, there's a couple of little holes on the throttle body that get gunked up. So all I'm doing, a little bit of carb cleaner like this. A little bit of wire brushing, well not wire brushing but uh, whatever that is, synthetic material but uh, a little pipe cleaner just to get in there and get a lot of the crap out. Um, this pipe here, so this pipe goes into, let me just pull it off I'll show you, goes into that port just there, that goes onto the throttle body. That, if it gets blocked, and it is very common on these to get blocked, um, makes the running pretty rough. So basically just going through it, making sure everything's clear. And that one is, there was a little bit of gunge in there, but nothing too major. Uh, throttle body was a bit dirty and grimy, but uh, yeah, you can see I've, I've cleaned that up now. So we're all good. Um, give the MAF a spray, because again, these are very sensitive on the MAF. The blue one I did on the channel uh, a few months ago, uh, had terrible math issues so yeah it's just it's just basically going over it to be honest and, and making sure all is good um have noticed that the bracket on the filter box was broken so i'm going to um just going to jb weld that up it should be okay it's not carrying any weight um it was just flopping around a little bit um goes across there to there and then bolts onto onto there just there nothing major another thing to check is this bypass valve here um, they can become problematic uh, if you take the pipe off either end well this end and suck and blow it should only go one way it's a one-way valve it goes both ways well it's had it um I have noticed there's a new alternator on it which is always good and to be honest the engine bay looks pretty clean don't see any nasty leaks the belts all look pretty good um, haven't checked the timing belt yet, but we'll do. Um, I'm struggling a bit today because, yeah, as always, the weather's against me. There is a, a lot of rain about today, so, um, yeah, it's it's kind of struggling with that a bit. Anyway, that's basically what I'm doing today. Um, did a quick check on the battery as well. Battery's good, um, which is a bonus because seems every project car I've bought over the past, well, this year, <laughs> <laughs> the battery's been uh, completely knacked, so it's good to have a good one. Um, yeah, these are good clean up in here, and, and these are good check over, but in all, it's, it's looking pretty good. Not disappointed so far. Um, headlights need a clean. Yeah, they are typically with uh, plastic headlights. They need a good scrub up. Um, it just It's just dirty, that's all. Dirty and uh, a little tatty around the edges, but yeah it's going to be a good little project and hopefully a good little car to to get me out and about right that's that's about it for now i think um what i want to have a look at next is the abs sensor on the back wheel i don't know if i'm going to trust the weather today to be honest but um, if i do i'll record it and i'll either stick it on this video or we'll have a separate one so it's either goodbye for now or catch you in a bit so i did carry on um just trying to get the bolts off the wheel at the moment Oh my God, they're tight. Oh, they're tight. Well, a little bit crusty under there as you'd expect, but it's had new springs at some point. Um, I did notice though, and we have to look into it more. Um, there is a wire that's cable tied up out the way, which I'm suspecting, to be honest, is the sensor it's screaming about. Um, but yeah, I need to get the torch in here and have a, a jolly good look because I don't know what I'm looking at at the moment. Well, I'll be honest, something doesn't look right. I think there's a back plate missing. Probably mm, some more bits missing, I don't know. I'm gonna have to have a bit of an investigation. This just doesn't really look as I expected it to look. Hmm. Don't know. More investigation needed, definitely. 
Yeah, I definitely think that um, some parts have been removed, rotted away, whatever it may be. Because, uh, yeah, there's no back plate there, which makes me suspicious anyway. And also, uh, we can see it there. That bracket's not held on by anything, which again, isn't ideal. Hmm, I don't know. I think I need to order some parts. I also noticed um, <laughs> what was under here. In fact, let's have a quick look at the other side while we're here. Yeah, the other side looks the same, but that doesn't mean they're right. Um, and the exhaust, yeah. Um, yeah, that's kind of seen. <sighs> it's kind of seen better days. So, definitely needs an exhaust. Um, that's what's talking about. There's a wire hanging down. So, yeah, I think from this video I've got to have a good look over the back end of this car because I don't think it's right. Right, anyway, that'll do for now. Catch you later. Bye bye. These good boys are rather short. <laughs> I just had a quick look at the other side. So, same sort of scenario in here. Um, there's something missing there. I think there's a backing plate, a bracket, there's something. Something not right. But if we follow the wire around, at least we do have a sensor. So we are definitely missing a sensor on the other side, I believe, because that one, that one seems to be there and that one seems to be good. Right, this time's definitely goodbye because it's starting to rain. <laughs> See you all, bye bye.